Hello friends, let us study about verification and validation. Now this term concept is very clear to you. I hope if you remember your software engineering subject. Now, since this is software testing is derived from the not from the software engineering but since it is a piece of one of the piece or one of the part of the software engineering so some of the principle will be always repeated in software testing in software design and implementation and so on you will say why the concepts are being repeated again and again since we have studied earlier in software engineering again the same concept in testing since that was a developing the product, so it includes your strategy, it included your process, it includes people, product. In the same way, the testing includes your process, people, but not the product, but testing of the product, evaluation of the product, strategy of testing, how to prepare the test cases and everything and so on. But now, since we are at the point where we will study about the verification and validation, why? It's because the product which has been built up is correct or whatever the requirements has been stated earlier is the product has been developed accordingly. So we'll just see what is the verification says. Verification takes care of your activity to focus on the questions. So this question, I think Freshman book, if you refer, it is there that are we building the product right? That means are we building the product right that means all your requirements your from your requirements from your communication to requirements whatever the procedures it took did you, as a software engineer did you follow this procedure and did you open the product according to the customer expectations so to build up the product certain activities conditions procedure imposed at the beginning of the life cycle so these activities are proactive as the purpose is to prevent the defect before they take it have you seen the work of pottery how the pottery the potter makes a pot pot means a flower vase or a lamp the lamp which is used to light during the Diwali you know how to make that it's, it's a very cylindrical shape and the potter gives the shape and that shape it moves and moves and the structure comes up. A thing comes up, that lamp or a pot or a, uh, the uh, vessel. So, the defect, that means before the actual your shape, before you shape your uh, product, it, it arises. The purpose, the main purpose is to remove the defect. That to prevent a defect coming into your product and then again you start with your procedure to eradicate those defects. The process activities carried out during the phase for each product release can be termed as verification. So the process required during the phases like product release from the end, from start to end that can be termed as your verification now there is a requirement review you have a requirement review you have a design review you have a test case review code review uh, these are the examples of the verification activities before you end before you end your phase and start off a new phase you have a review in case of the changes in case of the review the panel says that it is planned review and the people comes, the pan, uh, there's author, there's a uh, moderator. But if there is any ch changes, suggestions, so according to that procedure, according to the strategy, it again accommodate those changes, accommodate those things which are being suggested. Now here comes your validation. What is validation? Now. It is a process of evaluating a system or a component during or at the end of the development phase to determine whether it satisfied your specified requirements. That means at the end of each phase, that was the beginning of your requirement verification was the beginning so that the defects should not be come up. 
because at such at that stage we prevent those defects so now how i can say that for example uh, when there is a rainy season comes so your parents are very protective like don't go outside you will get wet the first thing and if you sneeze if you cough so they take care they take care so that you don't fall ill so in case of a small cough if your mother sees you coughing she immediately gives you a syrup that means she does not want you to fall sick or she does not want fever to come up that means she is preventing you from the fever this same thing for the verification that i am preventing the defects to come in my product before that before that entire ship before that entire product is built up so now i am talking about the validation it is a process of evaluating a system or a component it can be an entire system or it can be a module a small module or a small component so that at the end of the development phase so that it can be compared it can be conformed to the requirements stated by the customer it meets the customer expectations so the validation takes care of a set of activities to address the questions correct it has to take care of all the activities for the validation there are several activities there are several strategies to be followed before we say that yes my product is according to the requirements specified so what does the validation question arise what does the validate question ask that means are we building the right product now here the sentence has changed are we building the right product these activities are considered as reactive as the purpose is to find the defect now each in each and every phase there there will be some defect the error the faults they will be it's not that without defect of work is carried out smoothly every one is bound to make a mistake now a defect is to remove the defect the first thing that affect the product and fix them so this these features you will see in validation next what are the validation activities so validation activities that can be divided into two types the validation activities are they have two types like high level and low level now low level is the unit testing and integration testing and a high level is high level testing usability testing function testing system testing and acceptance testing then we'll see a diagram the phases of testing for each development phase that means this is from the v model now given this level what kind of test apply in each of this level so we begin with the overall business requirement eventually whatever the surface there block should be fit into and the work in this overall context and should be accepted by the end users this means that is the end user work the, accordingly to the end user requirement has been suggested so that is it is a overall business requirement then The, the testing is the final is to the customer level to the overall business level you will see the acceptance testing so this testing of entire software system can call as acceptance testing then the product is deployed into the customer environment the product vendor should test in the entire unit to make sure that all the software requirements are satisfied so for the software requirements we have uh, the test what is suggested actually what is it is test suggested we are just coming from one end so we shape so from the requirements so from the end uh, i'll just read of this uh, entire diagram uh, you see that the business on a business requirements you are coming to a software requirements because you have converted all your business requirement into a technical requirements a software requirements okay then you have a high level then again it is come now with a high level design then into the low level design there are two types of design here the basic thing is the high level thing i hope this you know in your software engineering you have studied this then you came to a coding level okay so now from coding 
you start with the testing so initially you begin with the unit test the one module test then you begin two or three component test then again you have a integration testing then the entire thing is become a system testing because it it has interoperating and integrated subsystem the individual subsystem should be integrated and tested together before full blown system can be done so at the high level design that is correspond to integration testing then we uh, the low level design yes because one one component when you draw that small component design that that it comes to a component testing that a uh, low level design and high level design i hope the terms are very clear to you so then when you go the the testing when the testing is done you see how the testing arrows it shows that one after the other you follow you start you start with unit testing and end with the acceptance testing the same way from the coding from the requirements you start from the business coding you start and ends at the coding and from the coding the testing begins so it is possible to execute any of this test until the product is actually built then the step is called testing is now broken down into different sub tests called the acceptance testing system testing integration testing and so on so now the v model has the features of v model is that it splits testing into two parts the design and the execution okay so the design and execution is the first one of that is one is falling and the other is rising up the test design is done early while test execution is done at the end because test design first i have to think about the the third chapter will see about the test planning test way test cases the first is test design and then the test execution takes place and then there are different types of testing for each phase of life cycle that means for life cycle we perform because at the end of the life cycle we, we need to test them to me to find out whether we are according to the customer expectation or not in, in in the end in the end it matters that we are according to the customer expectations are we meeting our customer requirements this is the end this is the end of your story that means from the design from testing from your coding or from your developing your process this this question has to be answered that are really are we according to the customer requirement so in this way i finished my chat topic we'll meet again 